Kiyoto. Ilo gamlesa na kwanza part ya Ayure ile that's all that's all you're waiting for. And uh, we are live with the right man pale Facebook as uh, we do our review there. And uh, of course uh enda ucheke white man uta understand kwa nini tunamuitaga white man. <laughs> There's nothing white about him. Sweet and chill. You guide to Christian movies. Listen and live. And I uh, want to review this uh, movie here. And the movie we are reviewing is uh, Beautifully Broken. Beautifully Broken. And uh, this is a 2018 American Christian uh, drama film. Mm-hmm. And I feel like uh, I, uh, it's our movie because also we have uh, Benjamin A. Onyango. Onyango. Hey, in this see, whenever I see that face, you uh-huh. no smile. Uh-huh. And I think it was among the first faces I saw. I was like, ah, ni wewe wako wetu. Na anapenda home sana, anakuja kujanga sana. Yes, sana sana. The time we even uh, chatting and kwa na idea movie kama ni mtonge tange. Kujua kujaribu tu kujua na watu. So hii movie uli watch. Uh, oh, kwanza inaongelea nini? Uh, the setting inaanzia 1994. Uh-huh. Most of us who know what happened in Rwanda in 1994, uh-huh. the genocide. Uh-huh. So uh, this Onyango guy I think I just had to write down the names cuz majina zilikuwa zinani ana anajita William Wizerwa 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 Yes so uh alikuwa life in and poor mjamaa kwa na job fiti uh-huh. and then uh, all hell broke loose hmm. akalose my best then he narrowly escaped death hmm. ile tu by the alikuwa shala alishwa chini mapanga zimeinuliwa hmm. then there was an explosion hmm. and uh by the way chatu ningeza kidogo this is out of the movie but i'm say if you ever get a chance to go to rwanda right. please ishia your memorial park because that thing is so real and so tangible and uh, what they were actually showing is the reality hmm. You, you move in at SG Matrix uh, Quick Exaggerate that thing was so serious mm. the genocide was something that uh, I wish every Kenyan anafatu kujua the gravity of it mm. tata hiyo jinga ya tribalism yeah. because by the it's nothing other than stupidity ni ujinga ni ujinga kabisa so Fala. ukiwa huko that's what you realize that life is so sacred mm. and yet so fragile because because of uh, some political or uh, some disagreement ya kubwa mm-hmm. watu kucheza na wana but well back to the movie so eh uh, he now escapes uh, death then that was the first time mm-hmm. mara pili they are cornered because they are with the mother hoping that they are safer there wakafika huko wanapata the mother memadwa mm-hmm. and the guy who's uh kwa hiyo nyumba sa hiyo i think he must have been among the guys who killed the mother alikuwa there by circumstance mm-hmm. he wasn't really a bad guy but he's forced to go kill uh, because i mean he's from that tribe mm-hmm. so his fellow tribesmen and i'm sure by the either you are for us or against us so to protect his wife and kid he now joins these guys mm-hmm. so uh, this william guy akamwomba to please kama una ni mada basi ni mada lakini achana funguza wa mai to in a wife mm-hmm. nika akaangalia mtu hii this 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 uh, small girl akakumbuka dota yake mhm akaambia tu asikimbieni and that's how wow. uh, early escape death of course uko mbele they meet and in fact that's the sweetness of the story uh-huh. uh, but i think i need make a spoilers mingi so <laughs> actually basically the, the plot is around three fathers who yes, fight to save their families yes. you know and their lives become intertwined in an unlikely journey in really the world mm-hmm. where they learn about forgiveness and reconciliation <laughs> and uh happened on uh, what uh, being a father really means and mm. uh, maybe also you know it gets you to to the mindset of of a father yeah. and i feel like as a family if you watch this you can uh, actually also understand how your your the extent of fathers can go uh, I, for I for families and stuff so mm. i will recommend this uh, for uh, for the family just as you said of the, of the families chances are very high you'll fall somewhere in between the three families yeah 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 Either you yeah. have everything mm-hmm. like uh, the family in the US for them manze maisha is like of it the other side msee wanaishi kwa nyumba nyingine nye whenever would watch mm. uh, scene, you see nilikuwa imagine cuz eh by the Rwanda is cold mm. and you can imagine now living in such a house sijitu ni maholes too 
uh, the fact that you actually can see your father for them it's yeah, a gift so, enough so, 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 <laughs> that is the best birthday gift i have i can oh, get is a is a nice movie yeah, yeah, forgiveness then, reconciliation uh, then the other thing i also noticed about fatherhood that uh, really hit me is uh, just recognizing your deficiencies mm. oh was i at some point too and kwa na film manzi wana kimbilia god wana kimbilia god eh family ko pande ngine na film see and actually it it really hit home mm. because all the three fathers at some point were very low mm. of course uh, at the end of the story everything at least uh, gets uh, mm. a happy ending mm. but at some point each father it shows also the, the the aspect of forgiveness reconciliation yeah. and then uh, looking at things from a bigger picture and that is god mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and as you said uh, all we all of us are in one of this family by the way and uh, the message is well put out there and mm -hmm. movies shows fathers as drunkards and uh, the alcoholics mm -hmm. and nini, nini. you know it represents also the fathers out there and the men out there yeah. but this one shows uh, you know fathers who are really trying to to get things right yes and uh yeah. and you have to watch this movie and, and some go through philosophical uh, dilemmas i mean like you know the guy who mm. uh, get into uh, ali, 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 the militia this guy did whatever he had to do no. majorly because of him <laughs> being a father <laughs> had he been a father the story would have been different wow so uh any any apart from the things we've talked because peter mekula it was in bio so no uh what is a uh, thing you you've taken home from this movie? movie outside forgiveness fatherhood and uh, and stuff i think uh looking at things from other people's perspectives mm -hmm. and not judging them i think i actually noted that down this was william talking to the daughter mm. they are just talking and uh when uh, they're looking at this white lady white daughter jinaki migani uh, randy uh, andrea mm -hmm. uh William's daughter Anashindua I mean what does what does this girl have mm -hmm. uh, what what's a definition of pain mm. uh, not knowing that yes they are wealthy they also going through stuff but yes home. personally so what caught my attention was just because you see no tears doesn't mean that the person has not cried nice one nice one that that one hit home nice no, one. not just because you see people smiling out there mm. don't think that life is all rosy mm. uh, and as uh, one singer actually said is everyone out there is trying to get on with life no. you don't know the struggles they are going mm. through perhaps uh, in fact the moment you look at it from this perspective you will extend grace to literally everyone out there yes, uh, there could be a driver who's really speeding mm -hmm. most of the time i mean i as a driver we always complain um jamani reckless mm. you don't know the phone call he's just had mm. he could have been told that him say kimbia you need to be here the next him, so when you look at it from that side you will in fact just make room for them mm. uh, you could be walking into the office then there's this colleague manze for some reason you siku hataki kuongeleshwa normally they are just there but you siku you just start a conversation mm -hmm. and anakutukana you don't know that perhaps the the parents are going through a divorce Man. or uh, there's someone in the family who's terminally day. ill mm. so when you just give someone the benefit of the doubt you will extend grace because there are battles that you don't do ah. that they are fighting Oh. Nice one. Yeah. So the movie is beautifully broken. Beautiful came out in 2018. Mm -hmm. We're going to be showing this movie pale Hope TV yeah. Sunday Sanane mm -hmm. and a reminder pia kuna movies every day pale Hope TV. Then uh, kama Sunday hiyo masao ko church Sunday saa ine usiku. Also yeah. another time you can watch this movie with your family mm -hmm. pale Hope TV Beautifully Broken. Yeah. The title of that song ah uh, the title of that movie we just reviewed mm -hmm. my brother White Man Thank you for coming through. We do this again next uh Thursday. Next time. Baraka man. God bless. Awesome. Sajara, ya biasha.